Alrighty then, tacticians. Today we're going to be going over Hall Deer. He's a glass cannon that synergizes extremely well with ranged units and dies in Helm's Deep. RIP to the homie. Everybody was pulling out and Hall Deer didn't. He stayed till the end and died. Phrasing. That didn't sound right. He didn't pull out. He, he, he was trying to pull out. I, I'm not. I'm moving forward. All right. Stop, stop keeping me here on this, this, this topic, all right? Oh, dear. He's, he's, he's a great commander. Great, great commander. Uh, I, he's been with me since day one. I've been using him nonstop. I love him. I enjoy him. Uh, I, I think he's uh, fantastic in multiple aspects for me. Uh, like I said, he synergizes extremely well with ranged units. Uh, I've got him at respect 15, as you can see right here. Have all these little nice doodads unlocked. Uh, got all his skills and everything like that, so... Uh, we're, we're, we're going to be going over his, uh, his, his skills, best items, his special item, what factions we think he's best with, and then army compositions. Um, first and foremost, uh, let's get those, these first thoughts that I got on him. You know, he's a glass cannon. He dishes out a ton of damage in the first few turns, and then he takes some damage, especially as well. Woo! Does a nice little spin with it, with the animation. It's great. Um... All right, so that, that's what I think on him. You know, he synergizes very well with uh, units, like I've been saying. And uh, the reason why he does that is because he's got a uh, guide. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to reset just so that you can see how to put your points as you're leveling him up. You're going to put 15 into guide as you're leveling him up. You want to put 15 all the way to max it out because this first two rounds for this 45% damage is awesome. It's, it's just, it's great. Um, 45% damage increase for the first two rounds. So like I said, glass cannon, dealing out all that damage. This is your bread right here. This is what you're going to be relying on. This is going to allow you to dish out that damage, kill a lot of units. And when they don't have many units, they can't kill you as much. Unless it's a commander that does a lot of damage. That's, that's the weakness, you know. But, uh, and we're going to put seven points into armed escort. With armed escort, that's going to give us 140% physical damage, and it's got a one cool, one round cooldown, so it's 140% damage, and then one allied unit recovers 90% HP. That right there is going to be our sustainability. That's going to keep us in the fight, keep us hanging in there, and uh, keep us fighting, swinging, and and you know maintaining, so that way we can take on the next engagement, and then rinse and repeat with the first two rounds of physical damage. Boom, giving it to him. Then we're going to put one single point all by its lonesome in March, War March Warden of Lauren. You're going to be like, it's saying, Pian, Pian, why, why are we putting 16% damage? Look, look here, look here. Hear me out. Linda, listen. Linda, listen. One allied unit avoid next damage received. That's a two round cooldown. So every, every, you know, every time it's done cooldown, you're going to be avoiding the next damage. So let's say you got nothing but March Wardens. You're going up against Mummix. And then, you know, those Mummix come and attack you. Boom. Dodged all that damage. Hanging in there. That's what I'm talking about. Put a cracker on it, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking other people's lines. That's not my line. Um, then we're going to put 14 points into Sylvan Elf. Um, we're not so much focused on what this ability does, but more so what it provides for us. So, as you can see here, attacks deal an additional 65% physical damage as well as 65.3% poison damage. That's not really what we're focusing on or what we're worried about. What we want is forest agility. We're going to put seven points into that. This is our butter. Do you remember how I was talking about guide being the bread? Well, forest agility is the butter. You put the 45% damage for the first two rounds with some... 20% chance of attacking twice per round. So let's say you got your March Wardens or your ranged units, whoever you got with you. They proc on those first two rounds with the 20% chance. So that means they do that 45% damage and they do it again. So you're just, you're just dishing out some pain all over. Just, just bleh, all over them. Absolutely demolishing them. Um, so that's, that's, that's why you want to rely on this skill, not rely on it, but that's why it's a, uh, got that chance and that's what you want 
Next up, you're going to be putting, what, 11 points into Galadrum? I, I don't know. I'm probably butchering the hell out of this word. If I am, I'm so sorry. Uh, you're going to put all the points into Galadrim. Uh, you should have stopped, I think, what is it? I don't know where the points end. I think it's at uh, 55. Did you get one skill point per level? Something around those. Hey, you get that four skill points for Master at Arms as well. You get the one to start off with. So you should be able to max this out when you're around 50. And then from there, really, it's kind of uh, how you want to build it. I, I like adding in that extra survivability for myself. So, you know, my ranged units are my bread and butter, like we were saying earlier. So I'm going to put seven points into there to get that 14% damage reduction. Uh, I like putting that one point in there to get the little extra poison damage that lasts longer. You know, no biggie. And then my last three points, I'm going to put in Foresight so I can get, you know, a nice little 30% chance to ignore their, uh, their, their, their dodges or anything like that. Not that it's a big priority, but it's a, it's a nice quality of life type deal. Let's check out the things that we didn't do. We got Coal of the Week or Coal of the Week. Um, we didn't put much into March Warden Lorien, so we're not going to really invest in that. Elite gives 70% focus and 7% might. Again, didn't really invest in March Warden, so we're not going to go in that. I know beast training, there are people that out there that like going with eagles and bearnings, and they like to use Haldir to go along with them. But I feel this is a much better build that allows him to excel and dish out even more damage. Um, I know there's some scenarios where you might actually want to use Fortify if you're being under, uh, if you're being attacked often, or let's say you're leaving uh, Haldir out there on the battlefield. Maybe you want to put seven points in there, get that 18% damage reduction. And then paired with your 14%, you're getting, what, 32% right there. Damage reduced. This is for all allied units, including your melee. And then your range units are getting 32%, while your uh, melee is getting a nice little 18, technically 17.5. But we're going to say 18%. Round up, you know? Sounds good. All right. So, that's everything that we got for skills. Uh, let's go in for what we think the best items are. Um... What I've got for items, it's it's you're gonna notice a trend here, and the trend being I have army plus attack for three. I have it max strength and at max refined, so that way it's getting you know the plus three, plus three damage and plus nine percent damage dealt from all ranged units. Then you look over at the ranger shroud, which you know normally you when you put on a chest piece, it's got something that's gonna give you some sustainability, some extra HP, some extra defense something along those lines you know it's gonna give you those uh that, 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 that little uh, to hang in there and stay alive however with ranger shroud it's giving us that one attack all day i'm gonna take it uh i haven't strengthened it because i don't really want to invest too much into this i love him i like him but he's not gonna be my top dog so we're gonna just leave it at that get that one plus attack thank you very much i know there's some sub abilities out there Find the one that works best for you and uh, use it. I run into burn a lot, so I'm going to keep this negative uh, 5% burn. All right, let's do it. Trapper's Hood is the next one that I'm going to do because it gives us plus two attack for all ranged units. You see that trend there? That's plus six attack now. That's that's a whole six added on to minimum and maximum damage. And, it, and then the percentage on top of that, which is the 9% right there. So we're, we're just going all in on damage right here. So, hey, you know, this is this is why I'm saying he's a glass cannon. You want to invest in damage. Yes, you have those small sustainability skills that we have selected, but bread and butter once again. Right here, the damage. So we want to stack that damage as high as we can. So that way he can go out and deal damage. Uh, I got Hysteria as well, so that way every two rounds, you know, someone goes into Madness, they have a potential to attack their own units and, and you know, make a whole fiasco of themselves, and, you know, it's just nice. It's nice. It's real nice. Lastly, I put on a Hith lane because it gives us some might. It gives uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, some sustainability for HP. And then uh, every two rounds, one allied unit recovers 80% HP. Hey, that's pretty nice. Won't complain whatsoever. Another great alternative, if you've got it, if you're, you know, well and out over there, is you could go with Might of Elves. It gives you that 2% damage. Um, and if you, you know, I could technically upgrade this quite a few times. And uh, 
I could make it so that way it just it's what that's what two four I have another one nope so that's gonna be a, a six percent additional damage if I add on to it so pretty much invest in, in damage anything that increases your ranged army unit damage um his special item that he has which I don't know if we're able to access it from here actually let's see no not what we want click on this can we see it yeah there it is all right so first special item it is going to be a chess piece so we're going to compare it to the ranger shroud uh this one gives plus one hp for the elves the shroud gives that one a damage i personally like the, the shroud more because it gives one damage however warden of the forest is a pretty cool ability for the gain initiative but outside of that you get five plus five defense when battling on a wood producing lands granted that includes level one tiles because they produce wood but ultimately at the end of the day i don't think this is a uh, one of those great items that you should absolutely be investing into so for his special item that he has i must say just let it go to the wayside just f get yourself a nice little ranger shroud if you can throw it on there and um some great alternatives is anything that's gonna i don't know I don't think there is really anything that's gonna increase our army's damage so you could just do get a little item that increases defense for your melee or your range however you want to do it there's no you know specific way to build every commander that's going to be the most optimal to to make it the best that it can be because you're going to be fighting multiple other commanders out there with multiple different builds and each one's going to be treated differently as such uh so the the best factions for haldir is going to be First and foremost, Lothlorien. That's going to be the best faction for him. He, they got the tier four units, the March Wardens. That's the one that I'm with right now. Those March Wardens are crazy, and they they synergize with Haldir phenomenally. And uh, he just dishes out damage like crazy. Next up is going to be Noldor, which is going to give you. It's the other Elven. What was it? Why did I say Noldor? Linden. <laughs> Linden's going to be the other faction that you're going to want to use with Haldir um he's gonna be allow you to to use their t4 units as well except they only attack what on rounds one three five i don't know something crazy like that one four seven i think something weird so you only get one attack with the uh guide it's still a good attack really good attack however you know if it procs with forest agility that's another great attack that you're going to be getting so hopefully that works out um that's so Linden's going to be the second best. Lothlorien's the first. From there, I would say they're all pretty much equal. Uh, just because nobody's got that uh, elven ranged unit that you want to rock on him. I know most of his things are for just ranged. However, there are, I believe, some items that I have that's on here that's just elves. Oh, no, that's just, that's ranged. Um, honestly, it'll work with pretty much anyone. Any range. T4 ranged factions is what you want most. So it will work with Noldor as well. We'll put them as three. Just a nice little spot for them. So army compositions that you want to put with Haldir are two ranged units and one 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 melee to absorb all that damage that you're gonna be uh receiving. So for example, let's go to army. I'll show you what I have right now on him. There he is. He recently died don't mind him he's just resting so i like to put my uh, i like to use cataphracts max them out reason being is because uh they take 10 percent less damage and then if there's a melee unit they're taking 15 percent less damage on top of that so fantastic mail uh fantastic tank to be able to have especially out on the front lines and then usually what i do is is i'll put sentinels but i ran out but i'll put about 800 sentinels out here right so let's just say the 400 represents the 800 sentinels and then i'm gonna max the heck out of these march wardens because these march wardens are out here to do damage to put the hurt on them remember how we were talking about the avoidance well the march wardens are always avoiding there's no avoiding the march wardens ever 100 percent chance to ignore enemies avoidance status each round each and every round first 10 rounds that's what i'm talking about march wardens you go so army composition is this right here you know you could swap out sentinels for bow knights 
let's say you're in a faction that doesn't have march wardens or a t4 ranged then just use sentinels and bow knights put your range or your melee to about you know 950 thousand somewhere in that ballpark and just pump up those ranged units put the numbers up there and then last but not least let's see if i got any battle reports for us to to to, to, to go do a quick little review on um here's apparently you know lost fight so his his the bane of his existence is in fact dune danes so what watch out for these little fellers right here because the reason why is they have bullseye they prioritize range targets they hurt as you can see all 2500 of them were just nose diving onto my march wardens which they have a high defense you know not relatively in comparison to other range units but you know it is what it is here's a uh, a full haldir versus a full gandalf um he's doesn't have the best setup for his abilities and items but you know still gives us a good idea of how it's gonna go we lost our 350 bow knights you know whatever it is what it is because of those those pesky little guys right there but this is where sentinels come in hand because they can if this if, the, if these guys focus on the sentinels first then they they usually avoid it at least you know on the first first attack or so is uh oh god eight oh that's a that's a 10 already anyways let's see if we got another attack here uh that's a level 30 not really much to look at a level 35 not much to look at as you can see he he flew through these took took a little bit of losses nothing too crazy um all dear are you here all dear i know i have some other fights with him i had a, a long fighting night let's see what we got here um 28 here gone 25 those are just regular lands that's not actual pvp hello where did we start off i know we started off somewhere strong swinging and haldir put in some some great work as i'm just sifting through all my battle reports don't mind me this is a nice long one ruins oh hey here's another gandalf fight um or is this the same one from earlier that's the same one i don't know why it's showing up right here it's kind of weird hey it is what it is you know all right here's a draw let's go check this draw so we got a uh oh, god once again that's the 300 land you know what this is still a good one to look at this is the 300 power land tile army they they have some decent armies some decent skills and everything good up like that he he almost haldir almost took him out after you know losing a smidge tiny bit of units he went and fought a 300 uh tile army and almost zeroed them out uh as 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 we could see here in the numbers soldier damage was 276,000 damage holy mackerel that's a lot of damage uh, as we can compare it to faramir who also does a lot of uh, who also has guide and has it maxed out on this army he did a fantastic job so this is where you can see that uh haldir does do some great work i think this is the one that i was looking for or one of the big ones that's a leftover army perfect look at this you've got a gandalf the white who's got some t4 armies and then uh or t4 units versus a haldir comparable level around the same but you know this this gandalf was probably relying on wizard don't know if they have their skill set set up probably not respect five because based off the unit composition but if we look at this right here we could see you know haldir put in some great numbers let's 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 really look at the numbers and dive right into it uh 248,000 damage from the soldiers like wow and i bet you that was in the first few turns the first two turns like i said are the best two turns uh and then the commander damage was forty-seven thousand, right around the same again alpha white look at that damage received total almost 300k it's coming from all deer telling you this guy smacks he is great he is fun uh here's another oh, that's not really fair because that was a messed up army that he fought He's coming out here doing some great work against some uh, some great units and some great people. Uh, this was a weekend Gandalf. Took a little bit of damage here. Finished off another Haldir. 
so i think this is somewhat near a max oh dear let's just do some quick math that's 42 it's 21 21 42 this is a uh, 10 that's about 50. they have the right build just don't have everything set up right things did not work out in their favor as you can see my soldier damage is 160,000. i had the first turns i obliterated them put it all in on them and uh that's it's just the way that it resulted so we've apparently uh occupied gray havens didn't even know this attack was scheduled yet i didn't get to participate but it is what it is <laughs> go get yourself all dear do yourself a favor go get this glass cannon go put them out there go fight some people go do some things Go march across waters and fight people. I'm in St. Peon, and thank you so much for uh, checking out the video. Tacticians, forever be tactical. It's a little corny, I know. But remember, pull out when you need to pull out.